abundance of uh, about this issue. And they were very ambivalent uh, about this uh, particularity. Although the particularity of one view really include their pain, they still feel very ambivalent because, you know, the first side is that the only thing they know about Japanese know about Hanji. Ah, excuse me. Japanese know about Korea, and they don't even know why Hanji is there, Hanji's Koreans are there in Japan. For the author, anime is a cultural phenomenon that deserves serious critical inquiry, not only because it reaches broader demographics in Japan, but also because it provokes viewers to, quote, walk through certain contemporary issues in which that older art forms cannot, unquote. Although not pure, not pure construct a simplistic binary between American cartoons of the Disney tradition and multi-genre adult-oriented Japanese anime without taking into consideration such edgy, mature stateside program as Comedy Central South Park and Cartoon Network's adult swim shows, the primary role of anime as a contested terrain of a hegemonic national ideas of a class, gender, race, and ethnicity should be taken more seriously in a fifth-centric Japanese cultural context. For this reason, a relatively obs obscure minor production such as uh, Watanabe Shin Shinichi's Jenny 12-episode musical anime series Narima Daikon Brothers can and should be recuperated as a significant cultural barometer of the anti-Hanyu, anti-Korean sentiment in 2000. Uh, I'm sorry, sentiment in Japan. Is that, as I said, this episode exceeds what is generally permissible in America's animated parodies and satire by expressly depicting Chinese Koreans as literally ugly con artists whose criminal behavior, foreign lifestyles, and deviant sexuality threaten both the racial hegemony of the Japanese nation and the chastity of Japanese women. Despite you know the despite the parodic and satirical content, so to apply whole theory of popular culture to aforementioned episode simultaneously engages the dialectic, dialectic of consent and resistance. It exposes social problems of pachinko addiction and excessive media fandom, which can jeopardize personal well-being and public safety if pushed too far. In resisting the effect of the Korean wave and critiquing gambling addiction among women, however, the episode reinforces xenophobic stereotypes of Chinese Koreans as criminals, sexual deviants, and two-faced opportunists. 